People are taking what Trump has done in the U.S. and they're rebooting it in different countries, right? Take Pakistan, the nuclear power with a population of 200 million people. They just elected a new prime minister, and his name is Imran Khan. And I'll play you a bit of his backstory, and you tell me who he reminds you of. Imran Khan is a man of wealth and privilege. He was educated at Oxford. He was known for his good looks and playboy lifestyle. Swashbuckling cricketer who was every girl's dream man in the 70s and 80s. What is it with you that <laughs> produces this fantastic urge for girls to beat a path to your door? I don't know whether the girls consider it a lair or anything. I've, um, <laughs> I mean, I, I've just tried to make it as comfortable for myself as possible. OK, are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> Tell me that's not the Pakistani Trump Tower. <laughs> like, I feel like my eyes just got HPV. <laughs> and... And even when you listen to the news coverage of Imran Khan, they may as well be describing an even more tan version of President Trump. Zero experience in government, but he promises a new Pakistan. Khan has widened his appeal by casting himself as a populist. Imran Khan uh, represents a strong, muscular nationalism. He's adopted conservative positions on women's rights issues. He's able to uh, contradict himself uh, uh, along the same speech. He it's amazing how that used to be considered a career ender, but now pundits talk about it like it's a skill. They're like, well, you know, he's able to contradict himself in the same speech, <laughs> which is really good and really bad. <laughs> And it turns out, the more you look, the more you realize these similarities have spanned their entire lives, right? When Trump was doing Pizza Hut ads, Khan was in ads for Pepsi. <laughs> Trump had three marriages in the tabloids, so did Khan. Trump thinks Islam is bad, Khan lives in Islamabad. I should have stopped while I was ahead, <laughs> but the rhythm kept me going. In fact... In fact, these guys are so alike that shortly before he was elected, Khan was also embroiled in a sexual harassment scandal. And just like Trump, he got through it. And for some strange reason, Billy Bush got fired again. <laughs> Poor Billy, he was just trying to start a new life. <laughs> and now, it would be one thing if the two leaders were just the same. But what's mind-blowing is that they used the same casting director to find their supporters. Donald Trump's rowdy campaign rallies getting increasingly violent. His followers are very, very young, but they're known for being very rude and very disruptive. There are thousands of people inside this hangar just to catch a glimpse of Donald Trump. Thousands of Pakistanis are waiting for their hero, Imran Khan. A rock star reception for Donald Trump. Pulling his private plane right into his Arizona rally. Like a rock god arriving at a sellout concert. Imran's flyover whips them into a frenzy. I love how people are impressed by someone in an aircraft, like it's the 1920s. <laughs> Just like, look, he's up in the sky like a bird. He should be our leader. <laughs> and now, look, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Imran Khan is the brown Trump. Right? Although that would be funny. Like, if Trump just woke up and was brown, that would... <laughs> I think that would be a great movie. It would just be him building a wall to protect us from himself. <laughs> He'd just be like, we've got to build a wall because I'm coming. <laughs> no, 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 look. I'm not saying Imran Khan is the brown Trump. I'm saying that Imran Khan is one of many leaders around the world who is following the successful format of the hit show called the Trump presidency, including, apparently, using the same writers People love me. And you know what? I've been very successful. Everybody loves me. Someone like me, who is blessed with everything, who has everything, who doesn't need anything, and has so much love from these people. That system is set up so that the crooked politicians can make sure they get somebody in that's not, you know, part of what we're doing. But we are going to fight the parties of status quo. These crooked politicians, the alliance of the crooked, this crooked mafia. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds a bit better hearing Trump's phrases with Bollywood music in the background. <laughs> Just has a nice string to build a wall. <laughs> so look, so look. I don't know if Prime Minister Khan will turn out exactly like President Trump. All I'm saying is, if you were planning to move to Pakistan to escape Trump, you might want to pick someplace else. We'll be right back. <laughs>